Now close your eyes. <laughs> Homer, Bart, Marge, and all the other wacky characters that Springfield has to offer are being served up right now. We are back at it again reacting to one of my all-time favorite shows, The Simpsons. Let's dive right in. You need an operation? What's the matter? It's all the same. It's embarrassing, and I'd rather not discuss it publicly. What could it be? <laughs> it's like the game Operation. You guys ever play that game? Your family members may be around when discussing like medical situations, but the patient actually might not want the family to know unless they have a medical power of attorney. I need professional help. Not to worry. This is the United States. We have the third best healthcare system in North America. <laughs> the third best healthcare in North America. Wait a second. Geography lesson. United States, Canada, and Mexico. Okay, I don't think that does really well for us. Hi, Medicare. I mean, hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. I speak with the doctor alone. Of course. Oh, wait, I'm the doctor. Did Homer just take a huge handful of cotton balls? But there's a diet where sometimes people eat cotton balls. It's kind of a disorder because it is filling you up, but has no nutrients whatsoever. But actually, it can cause bowel obstruction. So please be careful. Do not do that. What's taking Grandpa so long in there? It's crazy that medical costs are so high here. In Denmark, to pick a country at random, healthcare is free. Free? Honey, nothing is free but splendors. <laughs> I do see comments that say, hey, I don't have health insurance, but I'm not going to the hospital. Please, if you do have an emergency, get to the hospital. Your life isn't worth risking it because you're concerned that you might not be able to cover it. Trust me, they have programs to help. It's a monster! Kill it! Who is this? Kill oh. it! It's not a monster. It's Mr. Burns. Oh, it's Mr. Burns. Kill it! <laughs> <laughs> all I hear is that accent and all I can think about is William Wallace and Braveheart. Anybody see that movie? I know it's old, but I like it. It's good. Every Friday evening after work, Mr. Burns undergoes a series of medical treatments designed to cheat death for another week. First, Mr. Burns' chiropractors perform a slight spinal adjustment. Uh. <laughs> uh. Chiropractors don't do that intense of motion. I know a lot of people out there have opinions about chiropractors one way or the other, but they're very good with their hands. They are able to identify things that an image or a blood test can't necessarily do. Oh. And then a team of doctors administers eye drops. So the eye drops that they're showing are actually dilating your eyes, but you can also be getting drops for glaucoma, a lot of other ailments of the eyes. Painkillers. No. Painkillers aren't going to make you live longer. Painkillers are going to cover up pain that you have. You have painkillers in your system. You're not going to feel or care what's going on. And when the medicine wears off, it's actually going to be worse. So you have to think about that. Don't worry. You won't feel a thing till I jam this down your throat. Yeah, 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 no. Sometimes singers can get polyps or nodes on their vocal cords and they need those cut off. It's a procedure, but you don't use that gnarly medieval device. The most rewarding part was when he gave me my money. You would not leave the office that way. Offices would require you to have a safe ride home, somebody to watch you and give you explicit instructions of what to do in these situations. Not just let somebody go into the woods. But what's with the glowing? Um, I'll field that question. A lifetime of working in a nuclear <laughs> power plant has given me a healthy green glow. I don't think a healthy green glow occurs ever. The only thing we typically will ever see glow potentially is somebody who's overdosed or drank like coolant. So what happens is we can actually check your urine and put black light to it and, and kind of see that. Mom, you'll miss the eclipse. There'll be another one in North Yemen in 2027. So there's something called solar retinopathy. It occurs when you're actually looking up at the sun during these eclipses. This could actually cause retinal burning and actually destroys the cells of your retina. So you need to be really careful. Make sure you're wearing eye protection. It's beautiful. Oh, boom. There it is. Didn't even know that was coming. Now, Marge, your eyes must stay completely covered for two full weeks. Don't worry, honey. I'll be your seeing eye holder. 
<laughs> I wouldn't trust Homer, no thank you. Somebody will come in where I actually bandage their eyes shut. Every time they open and close their eyes, it causes significant pain. Keeping the eyes closed, it allows the eye to heal instead of opening and closing. Now, Simpsons, I must warn you, any stress could increase the blood pressure in Marge's eyeballs, leading to what we call Tex Avery syndrome. Tex Avery syndrome. We actually have tools in the emergency department to check the pressures of the eyes. The simplest thing we have is something called a tonal pen. If you're having unilateral vision loss or significant eye pain, you definitely need to see an eye doctor. <laughs> The only time I've ever seen like explosion of the eye is actually when there's a penetrating trauma to the eye itself and then the liquid is just flowing out of the eye. Potentially you're gonna permanently lose your eyesight even though they can put fluid back in. You gotta make me shorter, Doc. <laughs> gotta make you shorter? What do you mean? I mean, take out bones, guts, whatever you gotta do to make me a micro-mo. A micro-mo. So that doesn't occur unless you can find somebody off-label, out of the hospital kind of thing. No licensed physician would perform that operation. Now close your eyes. <laughs> nice, Dr. Nick. When you wake up, you will be a woman. No, 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 who? I, I want to be shorter for a woman. Oh, uh -oh. my gosh, oh, my gosh. There has been many documented wrong side surgery, sticking out the wrong organ. Things do happen. So make sure if you have surgery, you very much clarify with your surgeon what is actually happening to you that day. Maya is going to love the new me. <gasps> Mo, why did you uh... do this? I ain't done nothing yet. But I'm considering it. Well, there you go. Don't you wish you can go to the doctor's office and they have like sweet programs to see like what you would look like if you had this implant or that done to your body? Because I want to share your world forever. Mo, if you have to be like me to love me, then you're not seeing the real me. There it is. Cut me down to size, Doc. <laughs> can you wrap up the bones so my dog can have fun with them? People will adjust the different features of their body for somebody else. Obviously, if you want to do it for yourself and enhance things about your personality, have at it, go for it. But if you're doing it for somebody else, make sure that you're doing it for the right reasons. Homer, sitting that close to the TV can't be good for you. Talking while the TV's on can't be good for you. Sitting close to the TV, I always got yelled at when I was a kid. My parents were like, don't sit so close to the TV, concerning about eye strain. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> oh. Hey, wake up. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Now read the first line. I ate pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> Typically that's an optometrist's office that you're getting your eyes checked out. At Homer's age, there's something called presbyopia. You can only see at certain distances very well. And that's why people get like readers and stuff as you get a little bit older. Hey, you little dick guy! You don't you you <laughs> worse. Worse. Better or worse? Better. Oh my gosh. First of all, you can't do that to your child. That is child abuse and you can be arrested in jail. It can cause decreased blood flow to your brain, which can cause hypoxic injury or you can cause strokes. And then of course, obviously you can have some tracheal injuries where you're inhibiting the airway and you can stop breathing. Maybe you're a candidate for laser eye surgery. Will you get me out of having to choose glasses? Well, yes, but I must warn you, it's an experimental procedure and we still don't know the long-term effect. Less yapping, more zapping. <laughs> so we do like LASIK eye surgery. And they actually do use certain types of lasers to help with retina in the back and different treatments. But when it comes to adjusting your vision, that's typically just simple blades, so to speak, and different tools. Fantastic, I love The Simpsons. Of all the shows that I actually react to, I've seen this one growing up, so I can relate to it really well. If you guys like my reaction to this, definitely binge watch this entire series right here of The Simpsons. You're gonna love it. And as always, make sure you subscribe, turn those bell notifications on. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.